going on people welcome back to the channel so I'm just going to release a little video of... that's a good start isn't it now they fell off the wall I'm just going to release a quick little video of um, just a little test ride on the uh, YBR because obviously I'm all insured now I've been using it for about two weeks nearly on the um, on the road obviously to get to, to and from work and it ain't let me down once it's really good actually it's really reliable and um, the only thing I've got the problem with it that I've got is that on the front mud guard um, it's got like where it's meant to, where the bolts meant to be nipped in. I think that's snapped. Are you tired, boy? Yeah, I think that's snapped. So what I'm probably going to do is just drill a tiny little hole for it and cable tie it with a black cable tie so you can't see it. I ain't had the chance to do it. I've been working. So um, yeah, I'm just going to show you a little video, just a little ride around Dagenham. That's where I'm from, Dagenham, Dagenham United. So um, yeah, I probably ain't going to speak in here. I'm just going to record it. So hope you enjoy it, guys going on guys so i'm just going to do a little review on this bike little voiceover so um, i'm just going to talk about the things that i like about this bike and then maybe i'm going to release another video on things i don't like about this bike because i don't want to sit here big the bike up and slag it off because um well i don't really want to do that because i'm just going to end up repeating myself loads of times and i'm going to be waffling a lot in this video so if you don't like people waffling you might as well flip to another video <laughs> so um, the good things about this bike I don't know where to start off really but we just went over a bump so let's talk about suspension the suspension is not too bad on this bike obviously it's a 125 so it's not going to be the best but um, where you go over a bump as long as you ain't flying like you, you're doing the speed limit and that you're going over the bump nicely and um well, yeah, it's all right. It's a 125, guys. It ain't no 1200 Bandit or nothing like that. It's a little learning bike. And um, these are the actual type of bikes that you normally would use, like, to do your CBT oh, on and stuff like that. So, yeah, that says it all, didn't it? So, I'm just going to quickly pull up here to get some chicken and chips. But then I realised I forgot my cash, so... <laughs> so, I can't get no chicken and chips, and obviously... That's always peak when you when you go into the shop and you want chicken and chips and you've got there and you ain't got no money for it. Yeah, it's kind of peak. So I don't really want to talk about it no more. <laughs> but um, yeah, come, let's go. Right. So yeah, the handling on this bike in the weather like this, the handling. I've not really got nothing bad to say about. Well, I probably will in the next video, but. This is a nice day, it's dry, the handling's okay. The thing about this bike I love the most is um, is the reliability. It's just so reliable, it's literally, like I've had, I've had tons of 125s. I've had literally, I can't even count on one, I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I've had loads of bikes and um, like reliable, reliability wise, this is probably the best, most reliable this bike I've had. And um, I normally go for like sports bikes. Like I've had an R125, and then, well, yeah, I loved it. But uh, when you're commuting to work and stuff like that, and when you're flying down the motorway, it's a bit uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? It's more of a little summer bike to go out on for a little half hour and fly about. Not something you want to be sitting on doing hours journeys at a time but um yeah another thing with this bike it's really quiet and uh well, i actually like it i like the quietness my old bike the um it's on a few of my old videos on my channel on this channel what was it oh, honda cbf 125 i'll put an aftermarket exhaust on it because um the stock exhaust that was on it that was um, it was mangled up basically it was just like rattling and all sorts so we took that off and we chucked an aftermarket system on it so we had an aftermarket down pipe and, um, and obviously an end cam and uh, it sounded lovely but it just looked quite stupid because it's not a sports bike enough and I'm not saying you can't put aftermarket cams on bikes that ain't sports bikes so you can put an aftermarket cam on any bike you want like if I put an aftermarket cam on this YBR you see me zinging down the road 
I probably look like a dickhead, do you know what I mean? Because it's a wipe you are. It's different, like when I had my R1, I bought, um, what did I put on that? I think I had a Lextech Dampire and a KNO N cap. And it was popping, it was banging, it looked banging. And I didn't look stupid because it's a sports bike. And I know it's only a 125 single cylinder. And, it, and it, it, you look at it, you hear it, it sounds like a 600. But at the end of the day, mate, it's a sports bike. And um, they don't look stupid when, when you're flying down the road and, and you sound like you've got a big meaty exhaust on and it's grumbling. It looks alright, but on a little skinny bike like this, if you put like, an aftermarket can on, unless it was customised and like you put big fat wide wheels on it and made it look a little bit more better then um then it'd be all right but i personally would not put an aftermarket can on this bike because you would look really stupid but um yeah so that that's obviously my opinion everyone's got their own opinion so yeah that's mine if you don't like it yet then uh you better find another channel or something like that but um what else can I say? Run out of things. It's never a good thing. Um, talk. It's all right. It's, it's got a nice little bit of talk. Obviously, again, it's a one two five. You ain't getting no more than seventy five miles per hour at this bike. And even if you're getting seventy five miles per hour, you don't want to be going faster than that with wheels like this, because um, the wheels ain't all that. But as I said, this is going to be about the good points on the bike so i'm not really going to get into that until the next video and if you're interested then um sub the channel or have a look through the channel and it will be on there but um yeah man this bike's decent i like it it's all right it does what it says on the tin you know what i mean wake up in the morning five o'clock in the morning starts up on a button every time don't cut out choke will come on for a minute and um, yeah, and it's ready to go. Oh, can you hear the mug guard? Basically, what it is, the mug guard's loose on this bike. It was like that when I got it. When I actually got the bike, it was crashed, but not recorded. And um, I, I picked it up really cheap. I paid, what did I pay? 650 quid for this bike. And now, now I've sorted it all out and it's got a year's MOT on it. I could easily sell it for 1600 No offers, 100%. Because obviously these bikes go for decent money just because of the right reliability. They're really known to be really reliable, which is good. But yeah, I paid 650 for it. And it had bent handlebars. Back wheel was, um, I thought it was buckled, but it weren't. It was just where it took a knock. Just needed a uh, realigning, re realigning, whatever it's called. So yeah, that weren't too bad. Overall, it's a decent little bike. If you want a little bike to get you to work, and you don't want to have to worry about waking up in the morning, and it's not starting up, and keeps cutting out, then grab yourself a little YBR. I think um, I'll be keeping this bike definitely for a good couple of years for commuting to work and um, obviously I work a couple of jobs one's pretty local and one's like all over all over London so um, it's always good to have something to get you to A to B but yeah it's, it's alright. It's nice. It's a nice little area to ride in Dublin. It's not too bad. This is, this is uh, Pars Lowest Park. Decent little park, man. Just come through here to take a little shortcut to get back to Beacon Tree. shouldn't really be taking it but I'm not driving like a donut there's no kids about so uh, I don't think no one's going to be bothered so what else can I say about this bike 
the handlebars I don't know if I've said about it already I'll probably repeat it myself the handlebars they're really comfortable they don't look all that but it's comfortable the seating position is comfortable the front brakes decent That's a police car at first. <laughs> Luckily, enough for sleep. Gotta be careful on these little roads, man. These little blind spots. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna whack a little tune on for you because I'm waffling on a little bit and I'm running out of things to say, so I'm just gonna whack a little tune on for you and uh, when we get near the end, then I'll come back.
Okay guys, so thanks for watching. I'm gonna leave it here for this video. Let me know what you think about that beat I just put on. I think it's banging. Um, be sure to like, subscribe and share. It all helps me out. And um, lock in for the next video coming in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna let it go for this one guys. Keep it real and I'll talk soon.